What's up? My name is Teknova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to do something rather experimental, but it may end up helping you. I'll be showing you how to force resizable bar on in any game that you'd like, whether it supports it or not. What is resizable bar? Well, it's a relatively new technology that's only really available on RTX 30 series or newer graphics cards that makes the entirety of the graphics frame buffer accessible to the CPU at once, where previously it worked slowly, now it has access to everything and can help improve performance of some games quite dramatically. Usually NVIDIA or game developers will have this on by default wherever available and it will help your performance regardless. However, you can force it on for all the titles that may or may not benefit from this. That being said, it's worthwhile doing your own experimentation to see if programs actually benefit from this on or off and if you find out anything useful, make sure to leave a comment down below to help others. Previously, I heard that this can really help players of, say, Cities Skyline, where they can almost double their FPS just by enabling resizable bar. How true that is? Well, it's an experimental setting that you can try and experiment with yourself. Before we begin, we need to know that you actually support rebar. You'll need a graphics card that supports resizable bar, as well as a motherboard. You'll need to make sure that the BIOS on your motherboard is updated, and if necessary, resizable bar is enabled in your BIOS menu as well. How do you know if you have it enabled or if you even have it available? Well, simply right click your desktop and choose NVIDIA control panel. Inside of here, we'll click system information in the bottom left and we'll select our graphics card. Then scroll down on the list if necessary until you see resizable bar or rebar. If it says yes, then congratulations, you have it turned on. Otherwise, if it says no, you have it available, but you haven't yet enabled it in your motherboard's BIOS. If you don't see it at all, then unfortunately your graphics card likely doesn't support resizable bar to begin with, though do make sure your graphics driver is up to date if you expect to see it there. Now that we know we have it enabled on our computer, how exactly do we go ahead and force it on for games that don't necessarily support it? Well, to do this, we'll need to download a tool that tweaks the NVIDIA driver, and do note that this is a really powerful tool, but it does go super in-depth in many places. You can end up ruining the performance of your games or making them look really bad if you play around with the wrong settings. That being said, you can undo pretty much everything that comes from using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. In the description down below, you'll find a download link for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Simply expand the latest release at the very top by clicking Assets over here and choose NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip. When it downloads, open up the zip and we have two files in here. We'll make a new folder on my desktop, call or whatever, and drag both the exe and the xml file into the folder, and we can close the zip. Then we can open NVIDIA Profile Inspector as administrator. When the NVIDIA Profile Inspector opens up, click the magnifying glass over here to enable the hidden or unknown section at the very bottom. Then from the drop down, select whatever game you'd like to customize. You'll want to do this on a game by game basis, benchmarking before and after to see if you're actually gaining or if you're losing performance with this experimental setting turned on. I'll simply choose any game here and scroll down to the unknown section. As you've probably seen, some of these settings have already been changed by the NVIDIA driver to be the best that they expect to be. Of course, some games will already have resizable bar turned on if it's available. The settings we're looking for are 0x000, then F00BA, BB, and FF. You'll usually be able to find these by the fact that they all have 19 profiles here. To enable resizable bar for any game, simply select these options. For F00BA, select 1, F00BB, select 1, and for F00FF, select number 4 here, the first option. When you're done, simply click Apply Changes in the top right and your settings will then save. You'll need to restart whatever game you are playing or you are customizing in order to see it changes. Now, if you'd ever like to get back to the defaults, simply select the option and on the right hand side you see an NVIDIA icon. Simply click this and it'll reset back to the default setting for whatever we had highlighted. If you'd like to reset absolutely everything, at the very top we have an NVIDIA logo that upon clicked resets all of the settings for whatever game we have selected. Just make sure to click apply changes in the top left to save everything once again. But anyways, that's really about it for this super quick video. I wish you luck like experimenting with this. And of course, if you actually gain anything unexpected, do leave a comment down below so you can help others learn as well. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.